your, your branding is some of the most amazing, iconic, hilarious, you know, stuff I've ever seen. And it's, it's, it's awesome. <laughs> so it's, well, it's a huge thank, fan. thank you for that. Thank you for that. Um, when a number of industry colleagues, it's, it's Suzanne, you interview for all of the publications in the industry. You're a keynote speaker at all of our trade shows. Why don't you have a podcast? You've got so much knowledge. You know so many people. You know how to ask the questions. And I just kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. And then finally, I met someone that introduced me to this little podcast agency in the Philippines that cool. said, well, we can take care of that for you for a really reasonable price. And so I was like, well, yeah, I could afford that for marketing. Why not? So I started thinking about a name and like came up with uh, the infotexture talks or, you know, like other, other things really related, like trenchless talks or things like that. And one of my friends years ago had kind of just affectionately nicknamed me in front of a bunch of people at, <laughs> at a trade show. Well, yeah, well, because she's the doo doo. She's the poop diva. And I kind of went, ew. And he says, okay, we, I think we could say that nicely. The, the doo doo diva. And I was like, okay, <laughs> I'll go on that. I Triple will alliteration. That. I love it. <laughs> and it just kind of stayed. And so when I started thinking about an interesting name for it, I ran it by a couple marketing friends of mine. And I said, what do you think about the doo doo diva podcast? And he said, we well, got to take it one step further. I said, all right. And one of the favorite expressions in our industry, and it, it all came about, um, I was on a video shoot with one of my techs and we were the, with a client and he had never been on a live site near a live stair before. <laughs> so we had to film this prep work for this rehabilitation of a manhole. So they had a bypass system going on and they popped the lid and he's filming like the prep work and he sticks his head over the manhole and he just reels back and says, oh, God, that stinks. <laughs> and so my client, the contractor, and I looked at each other because, you know, we're not noticing anything, maybe because we're too used to it, what they call that <laughs> nose blind. We, we both lean over the manhole and go, you know, give it a good stiff test. And we come up and we look at each other. And this was not planned. It was not scripted. I swear to you, it was not scripted. On cue, in sync, we said, smells like money to me. 